All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. Uh, I am, of course, Roy, as I, I assume you should know. And in the top left corner, we've got none other than Fiskin, who will be co-casting with me today. Um, hello, Fiskin. How are you? I am great. How about you, Roy? <laughs> Very good, dude. Yeah. Um, Did that sound natural? I want to track. Yeah. Come over. Yeah, yeah. Is he stacking boxes to reach up to the cam? Wow, Tina, that's a little rude. Thanks. I am very hyped, Roy, about today's <laughs> monthly. Yeah. <laughs> I have no clue who could be, who could, who could come out on top, you know? It's finally time to actually get into it. Um, so we are going to take a look at the teams here. Quarterfinals for NA. The real, the real matches. Here we go. Um, Whoa. So this is Team USA, who we are not going to watch for now, obviously, but we'll just take a look. So this is Aromas, this is Toker, this is Mark, this is, he uh, excuse me, Naru, and this is Helio here. Um, and then this is a team that I believe is trying to um, get here for uh, Moda. Uh, Dry Dude, Ma, Noir, Car, uh, Car excuse me, and General Jenkins. Um, this is, but this is, this is a new team that I believe just formed up for this monthly now. Um, they obviously have made it to the quarterfinals, so they will get some QP, but we're not going to, we're not going to watch it. What happened to Team Poggy Woggy? Unfortunately, they disbanded. Hate to see it. Uh, we're going to see just who's playing with Grimjack, but as far as I know, this is not a Moda team, um, with Grimjack. Uh, so it's going to be Jeff, Shadowfall, Grim, uh, I assume probably this is Carr. I, I don't know who else it would be, and, uh, Clown. Um, and then this is a, I don't think that's a team for Moda here, but I, I don't think either of these teams are, so we're not going to really bother with it. Um, let's see here. So we've got Slash's team. Okay, so this is, uh, oh, that's a different Reckless, right? Don't be confused there, boys. Um, oh, this came a part to be Floundry against Dark Team USA, right? This is kind of nice that they're on the opposite side of the bracket, so it should be Dark Team USA. Yes, I mean, Dark USA versus the Moon oh, Finals. We're definitely so. going to watch this game. So this is definitely going to be the most exciting game. Um, these are both two very strong teams. I think both of them could compete with Team USA. It's kind of a bit of a shame we see them in quarters instead of semis. But nonetheless, we are going to watch this. So Team USA here, or excuse me, Dark Team USA, again, slightly different um, roster than we saw in the last one. So this is going to be um, Beyond. This is going to be Nos. This is going to be Rar, who's actually playing Revenant, Condi Rev here, instead of the Weaver I expected him to be playing. Uh, we've got Steel here on the Core Ranger, and then Dorito God here on the Firebrand. Over on the side of a red team, it's Sakiki playing Revenant as expected. He's just going to be playing standard DPS Rev. Flandre is going to be on Druid, interestingly enough, um, with Knight's Amulet, instead of the Sor Solbeast or Core Ranger he could be playing. Reckless, who was playing Thief before, as I expected, is going to be on the Carrion Core Necro. Going back to what he's usually... Known uh, Zin is going to be playing Core Ranger with Knight's Amulet as well, but it's going to be Core instead of Druid. And finally, it'll be Cat here playing Berserker's Amulet, DP Thief. So, no real surprises there, apart from, I'd say, probably Rar going for the Revenant over... Uh, the Connie Revenant, in fact, um, over the Weaver, which I expected to see him. But so far, is going to be the double cap here for Dark USA. Um, obviously, oh, I... This is one we running on their node. Who is? Oh, no. oh, Andre, this yeah. is one we running on their node, I don't know. <laughs> And how do you feel about the uh, the druid? I mean, we've shit. Yeah, we saw druid, uh, you know, losing consistently to the core ranger of sorry. Um, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's no different. He's getting dicked, and he's still just there. Why don't you just leave? Yeah. I mean, maybe Thief is looking to plus, but wait, is it spike trap? It's spike trap. Holy shit! He is. Uh, That's even worse. Nice, nice aim. Yeah, he's going for the uh, the spike trap. Maybe maybe testing some stuff out. We shouldn't be so harsh. Just as of yet, but uh, yeah, he's he's gonna go for the decap. Do you think eventually? He, no, I guess not, because obviously still has a I mean, yeah. CC, so he shouldn't really be able to decap. But we will see a plus coming in now from Cat here, going on to Trap Lord Steel. So there should be at least a decap. Um, is there? Would you say that there's a clear winner between comps for this map? Um, they're both running Necro, so I don't know actually. Um, and no Mesmer. Uh, I think like red team's comp might be better for this map, but I think blue. This is gonna play better than just destroy them. Right. We do see the uh, the counter rotation here from blue team to match the plus that uh, Cat and then Sakiki brought in here on to uh, to blue team. But we will actually see the Firebrand going into downstate here. A little bit of pressure on Sakiki, but the stomp is gonna be good there. I believe that was from Cat. 
Uh, he actually got the, the stomp out, the Shadow Sub stomp, and he does have Shadow Portal available as well. I'm not sure where the exit, of course, is going to be. Gets some stealth here for his team to help peel for Zagiki. Blue team losing a player there, four versus three. Very, very bad. Yeah, they they lost it. do yeah. have a little bit, uh, obviously, of some saving grace here with Reckless getting killed, I believe, over at mid. Um, and the red team... Oh, actually, Noska, the one yeah. Blue team are going to still be able to hold onto the node, though. Getting, you know, interestingly enough, we, we do actually see Zagiki now getting picked up there as uh, the Firebrand and um, Anya... Excuse me, not Anya, Beyond are going to be able to come back off of, uh, and get the kill. But red team got basically no value out of getting the kill on the Firebrand. Even, yeah, even, I mean, they obviously get just the innate value of the fact they got a kill when they were outnumbered, but again, I think losing the kill with Reckless, um, and then just not really getting any value afterwards, and then, and then even more so losing Sakiki just means that the, the kill they pick up on the Firebrand pretty much gets nothing, and f we see Flandry still stuck in this 1v1 on the owned node, um, so he's got no value really in the last, <laughs> I mean, since the game started, pretty much. He's spike trapping the pet, dude, that's sick, actually. We're going to see Rar in downstate again, having some trouble on this Kindy Rev. And do you feel that Kindy Rev is the right choice here, or do you think that he'd get more value from just standard Power Rev? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know Kindy Rev. Mm -hmm. um, I think both are fine. Kindy Rev is like harder to kill, I guess, but I think Power Rev just might be better since like Red Team doesn't really have the support anyways. Right. So I think Power is probably better. I think, yeah. I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah. I really don't know. Stillness is going to be up. It's been up for about a minute now, and neither team has been able to get it. We will see the respawn coming in now with Rar Reck Reckless currently going to be contesting against Beyond here on, uh, sorry, on the on the Stillness buff. But we will see Cat coming in off of respawn, or not off of respawn, excuse me, out of stealth, um, and he will be able to help try and peel for his Necro, but unfortunately not going to do enough, and he is going to be brought down here and stomped out uh, by Beyond there in underneath the buff. Over at mid, it's going to be Nos. Currently going to be holding it down here uh, against Zin, who unfortunately is going to be taken as well. And yeah, I mean, the, the big thing here, I think, is again, blue team, they are getting some value from their kills, right? They, you know, we saw this in, in previous games. We did see some some matches where it was kind of a similar thing. We will see the Firebrand potentially going down again, but he's going to be the easiest target, I think, for red team to really take advantage of um, against this blue team. Um, and he might actually even get res. Yeah, nice knockback there into the blood res as well from Nas. We should see him get up, although at the moment, Cat's doing a pretty good job of stopping it. Nas no, just not able to free, freely get the res, but the symbol here now from the Guardian. I think he'll get enough. it. Oh, Reckless coming in, though. Oh, the fear! Oh, Nas going to be able to stop it at the last second, but I think the cleave is going to be good. Yeah, Nas not going to be able to get the res. The piece is coming in. Rarnark he isn't going to be able to help either, and I think he actually might go down. This could be a bit of a turnaround here for Red Team if they can pick up another kill here. Nas is well going to be chased here. Very low out of Shroud. We'll be able to force Reckless down there, but he is pretty low. Still 1v1ing on their node. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. Like, what, why are you... I don't get the double range. Like they should just play one mesmer. Like what? What has what has the druid done so far? Literally just on their node. He's he like he doesn't even like it's full fully like full capped. Like yeah, I mean why are you here? I don't understand. Yeah, the the biggest detractor I think from the oh. team for sure is is the fact that they basically just lost any value from this the entire time. Um and yeah, I mean mesmer would have Shit. so much value on this map too. Why do you think that we've yeah. seen either team playing mesmer, especially because they have players that can both play? It? I don't know. It's just yeah, I don't get it. Like. Because why? Because Funday is there. It means like they can't. They can never decap it. Like Thief can never go for decap because yeah, like the range is there, right? So it's just, it's so weird. And I mean, maybe now that buffs comes up, something changes. But it oh, he actually got decap. I take everything back. Holy fuck, it's nuts. Nerf druid. Yeah, it is true. Steel does get decapped here by the druid finally. Uh, however, as the rest of the map is going to progress, we're going to see Nos now here at bottom buff. He will be contested though by Reckless, so that shouldn't really go anywhere here. Um, over at the top buff, we are going to see the Firebrand currently contesting the stillness, which I neither team capped the first stillness either. Um, so that's still going to be, that's going to be the first stillness up still. Uh, we did oh. see both thieves getting oh. killed here, and we do see Sakiki being taken out here, going down towards the bottom buff. So we might actually see an aggression here from blue team um, on to Reckless now here. We see Beyond going for the kill here on Reckless with Nos, of course. He's going to be able to port away, and Cat coming in here now to help peel for him. Yeah, I don't know he's if he's... He's not death magic, right? He's not death magic, so it's a pretty easy kill. Reckless? Uh, no, he's going yeah. for full DPS. I don't think Nas yeah. is either, though. Yeah, not, both both uh, Necros are going to be playing pretty much the same build. They're both going to be carrying like, here. Like, that's yeah. not the issue with, with Necro on this map, right? If you're not going for the death magic build, then you kind of have to 1v1 as Necro, but you're just going to die. Because, like, yeah. yeah. I know that like, without deathmagic, it's really hard to 1v1. Yeah, this is such an easy plus one as well. And Stillness getting picked up top buff as well. 
Uh, Tranquility is going to get stopped here. Ski, though, he's going to have to use a lot of cooldowns to be able to contest that. And he's going to be alone against two players here from blue team. So unless he gets some help, he will die pretty quickly as well. He's not going to have anything left. Glen Hill already going to be used. His best bet is just to die and... Uh, oh, but he's going to get very blinded, stealth stomped out here by the Thief, and that'll be yet again the cap going up here for blue team. Uh, Zin now coming back down to bottom buff, but again, red team just going to continually feed kills into bottom buff yeah. and not get any value on the rest of the map. Um, we, though we do see the plus over on to the altar here. Still getting, uh, still getting the plus here now onto Flandre. It was the red team Thief actually getting the plus, but he's going to now leave Flandre one versus two. And, I mean, do you think the Druid should die here, or do you think he should be fine? I mean, he's very tanky. He's a knight summoned red, so he probably yeah. won't die. I mean, if he tries to hold deck up here like he is, then he might die, but... He's against a Condi rev, though. So, yeah. obviously, the knight's aim is not going to be as effective. Now, I think what's going to be pretty important is if, if Flandry leaves or if he decides to stay. Nah, he'll stay. Knight... Nah, he's... Dude, this note is his bitch. He's, ded he's dedicated to the note. That he's is... fucking... Yeah, yeah, you're right. He might, he may stay for that. We do see the double cap coming out though for red team. They were able to get a little bit of pressure onto the rest of the map, and we're gonna see now um, beyond very, very low. The firebrand pretty low here on bottom buff. Neither team has capped it as of yet. So actually, all the players going into bottom buff here from red team have still been able to hold onto it. Zin holding two players down here as well. Obviously, a lot of value. Uh, and in a situation like this, I mean, do you think it's smarter for blue team to just leave the one v one the necro down there, or do you think they should try to commit to it and get the kill on the ranger and, and continue to try to get the buff? I mean, that's the issue, right? Like, plusing the ranger on bottom buff will be, like, very difficult. Because killing a ranger when he has, like, so much space to kite is, like, almost impossible. But, like, killing a necro is pretty easy, right? So that's that's kind of, like, the issue that they have now. Like, I think they should just leave it 1v1, but then as soon as their necro gets plus 1, they instantly have to react to it. Because the necro will die, whereas the ranger probably wouldn't do a plus 1. Yeah. So that's kind of the issue with sending your necro, non like, your non-death magic necro bottom buff. Right. Um, so they'll have to, like, react very quickly if they do end up plus 1 again. Absolutely. But, um, in the state of 1v1, I mean, nothing will happen, I think. Yeah, uh, we will see red team get a little bit catch up a little bit points wise here uh, from blue team. They're still about 120 points behind or so. The thieves now duking it out here over at the top buff. Uh, Firebrand gonna be a little bit low here. Back onto bottom buff again. We see just the ranger still holding onto. And who do you think uh, gets more value from being down here, the ranger or the necro? Uh, I mean, I think the saying the ranger is better, but the necro is actually having more value. I think. Because like as long as Necro like again no death magic is and in a one v one where he won't die it's it's value. Right. But I still think the range is better because like if if red I think red should just plus this honestly. Absolutely. Red team um, though gonna be a little bit harder for them to plus this as Sikiki's gonna lose a one v one to Arar the Kani Rev obviously just being a little bit stronger in the power rev. Flyandre is still gonna be stuck in his one v one over at the altar getting no value there. Mid will be contested at the moment but unfortunately for Reckless he's about to get plus by Arar after winning that. And at the moment, we are going to see Cat really just not able to do anything, as again, the Thief is going to be just keeping him here. So, Blue Team will win off of one node pretty easily. Of course, you know, they're going to continue to try and contest the nodes. Do you think Red Team should try to go for a bit of a desperation play, and as you said, plus the Ranger down at bottom buff, and just try to get Tranquility? Or do you think that they should try and maybe potentially go send someone to Alter, decap, get kills on the map, and, and go from there, you know, and, and technically they almost should, yeah. Him. I think they should just plus the bottom down buff. I don't know, it's Necro, it's such a free kill. Yeah, um, absolutely. But they don't doing it. Yeah, and... Like, <laughs> Flandre just has to do something, though. Like, I don't know if he's strolling or what, because like, he's literally... He's, he's been there the entire game. He has not left it, and he's, again, not even close to decapping. So I really don't understand what the game plan is. It's it's very weird. Like, he's just making it... He's cocking his Steve, right? Like, his Steve, like, has so much less options because Flandre is there. It, I really don't understand. Yeah, absolutely. And it is, it is interesting to see. You know, me as a player that we sort of expect to be a little bit more experienced, but right now... Dark USA might just win off of the altar node. That, uh, that, uh, this is uh, this is the game right here, I think. Um, uh, Flandria beating, uh, we're blaming RNG in say chat. Ah, uh, well, we're not going to look at that anyways. Uh, what RNG? And uh, so we are going to see, again, still bottom buff contested here by the Necker Ranger. And again, a blue team still holding on to the rest of the map, or keeping at least neutral. And we're actually going to see a plus coming out here now from the Firebrand. Obviously going to match Sakiki here. As Why? Steel did uh, Steel get... Oh, no, Sakiki. Okay. And he's going to be forced okay. to leave, so Firebrand now got on the node and continue to hold it. I mean, if they get the decap here, and they can get a kill, Steel very, very low. Does get his heal off with the uh, the Elite as well. Give him stability. Does now the Grid Sword 4. <laughs> keeping him back up to Broken health. skill. Broken <laughs> very, skill. Very, very bound skill. Sakiki will have the Gwen Heal available for him, but... Honestly, all blue team need to do is hold the node. Still, the long, oh, long before there is going to get the knockback. Finally, we're going to see a decap coming out here. But is it going to be enough? Two and a half minutes left. I mean, red team would have to basically triple cap for the rest of the game, I think, to catch up. I, I think this yeah, is going to go to timer. It's, 
It's over, yeah. I think this game is pretty much just going to be one for Blue Team. Dark USA will be going ahead. Uh, you know, I should mention, obviously, that Red Team, this is their first game playing together, and Dark USA are going to have a little bit more synergy, even though they did have the two new players for their roster there. So, you know, it is going to be, I'd say, slightly in favor of Blue Team, and of course, you know, there will be some EU players on the Red Team, although it's only two out of out of the five. But uh, nonetheless, I, I think, you know, GG's both, both groups. I... Look forward to seeing them more. And look, Steel going down. Red Team clearly getting some value from keeping their Druid here at the Ultra Node. The Firebrand yeah. does get the res, though. So that's unfortunate for Red Team. But uh, there you go. Nonetheless, I think this, this is going to be game. Fine. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the game is unfortunately going to be over here for Red Team. And uh, Blue, like, team, <laughs> Blue Team are going to take this one. The game was actually somewhat relatively close, considering Blue Team had a cap the entire game. Yeah, you know, like if you keep it in mind, it is actually a pretty close game. But I really don't understand what what what's going on in front of his head. Honestly, I really don't get it. Yeah. Uh, either way, so this is going to be a semi-final match here. This is going to be Team USA uh, versus Grimjack's team. Now, again, I don't know if this team, this red team here, is trying to qualify for the Mona. They have not contacted us about that, so we will um, wait and see. Uh, but uh, that is, this is going to be the first semi-final. Is that Grim? What? What? Uh, Who's a Revenant? That's Grimjack. Oh, on Revenant? Yes. Holy Grimjack shit. is going to be playing Revenant. Clearly, he can multi-class. He's uh, on the Carrion Amulet Condi Rev here. We've got Jeff here on the Carrion Amulet Core Necromancer Clown dying here, unfortunately. He's going to be playing... Uh, this is DP? Yeah, DP. Okay, go next. Daredevil. Uh, there isn't a next. And Shadowfall is going to be playing Ranger. Over on uh, Team USA, we can take a... Look at uh, you take a look at the <clears throat> builds here for Team USA. Carry an amulet, core necromancer uh, for Zeromus. Toker is going to be playing Herald God Toker uh, Dustin on the thief. That's going to be the DP thief. We've got Mark here on the carry an amulet Herald. Uh, so the Condi Rev. We've got Naru Notorious here. He is going to be playing the Mender's Amulet Zeal build. And Metamon, also known as Helio, will be playing the Demo Amulet Prot Hollow. Um, do you think there's a better... That's pretty interesting. Uh, right. Yeah, what were you going to say? I think it's pretty interesting how NA seems to favor Necro a lot more and seems to favor Condi Rev a lot more over Power Rev. And you tend to just not play Necro at all. I mean, some teams do, but most teams don't, it seems. And they really? You think so? I think there's a, there's a decent amount of Necros on you. There, there is, but uh, so far, I think every team we've seen has been playing Necro, right, mm -hmm. on NA? No. And on you, it's it's like either Mesmer or Necro, and like usually Power Rev. I don't think you've seen a single Condi Rev, maybe one. Mm -hmm. um, whereas on an A, it's been only been Condi Rev so far, except for Sukiki, but who, who's like an EU player, right? So. And uh, mm. why? I mean, do you, do you think there's a clear advantage in in terms of one or the other? Like, do you think that when these teams eventually face up against each other? I mean, I, we did talk about that a little bit before. You know, um, the Mirage there for um, Misha with Rank Fifty Five versus Team USA not running Mirage. I mean, do you think there's a clear advantage to having one or the other? I, mean, I guess um, Holy Rev is probably better in teamfights, which is why they just then uh, pair it with a uh, Necro, right? So they go like more teamfight heavy, whereas like 55 to come with Power Rev and Mesmer is just more rotation and like outnumbering, right? So I think it's just two completely different playstyles, and I w I can't say one like which one is better than the other because I think it would mostly depend on the map. Yeah. Uh, um, obviously, this isn't that close of a match, guys. We will jump out of it once the other semifinal pops up. We can see it here. Hannibal, oh, right there. There you go. Hannibal Astral versus Dark USA, the team we just saw win on Temple. Um, and this, this I think, should be a pretty decent game. This is, again, this is going to be a team that is going to be going out there for the um, uh, the, the Moda. And I'm just going to bring up the roster. Oh, actually, I don't know if we have the roster, actually, for these guys yet. Up. Yeah, we don't need uh... Oh, yes, we do, yeah. So it's Murr, Urantian, Anya, Astral, and Xenius there on the side of uh, Hannibal's team, and then, of course, as we already saw, Beyond, uh, Nas, Rarnark, 515, Dorito God, and Steel Rage on the uh, the Ranger. So, Jay, we're going to take a look at the builds here. So, we've got the Carrion Core Amulet, uh, Core Amulet, Carrion Core Necro, excuse me, um, for Hannibal. We've got uh, the DP Berserker Amulet Thief here. Forced, uh, forced engagement is going to be the Carrion uh, Condi Rev here on the side of Anya. And again, yeah, the, the Condi Rev here that we don't really see on an A at all. Urantian will be playing Ranger, of course. He's going for the Knight's Amulet Core Ranger that we've seen previously. And wrapping it up will be Mur Swordmaster. 
Uh, he's going for a pretty standard you, heal. Sorry? I think you said uh, Connor, you have one on there. I think you meant to you. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, who's who's uh, Blue's Steve, actually? Because apparently it's... I don't know, some guy in map chat said something. That yeah, it's he's, just, on he's, just, he's just memeing. He's just memeing. You can ignore that. That's oh, just Helio okay. trying to troll. Um, this will be the game. Yes, this is going to be the game. But don't worry, boys. Clown against Toker. Good luck, Clown. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. So this is the semifinal. Uh, obviously, Team USA winning the other semi. So assuming that Dark USA wins this, this will be the kind of rematch that they were looking for, I believe, in the last monthly. Um, and interestingly enough, Exalted quality not really anywhere to be seen. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if they were if they didn't get out of Swiss or not, but uh, we didn't we didn't see them at all. So this is going to be the winner of this. We'll be facing uh, Team USA in the finals. Uh, do you have any predictions? Who do you think? Just just off of comp. Uh, it's a mirror comp, really. Oh, it is a mirror comp. Look at that. <laughs> well, excellent analysis, this kid. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for filling this in. <laughs> but judging purely from comp, I think Red will win. Their mm -hmm. comp is better for the map. Yeah. But this kid is a mirror yeah. comp, so. Oh, <laughs> shit, my bad. You really should try and pay more attention to this kid. Uh, yeah, Anyways, here we go. Team of fight coming out here on the middle node, and it looks like at the moment it's going to be the Necro here for Blue Team being targeted out by Red. However, they got a little bit of pressure back onto the Red Team Necro himself. Red team, though, doing a nice better job, a bit of a better job of staying together. Obviously, the port here from the blue team Necro coming out. And uh, at the moment, blue team are going to be able to survive so far. The aggression there from red team. Lich coming out, though, from Nas at the moment is not is going to be answered here. Or rather, an answer here for the Han Hannibal's Lich himself. Peel coming out for the rest of blue team. He's going to go up to a no port spot, though, at the moment. No uh, no caps, though, for red team at the moment. And so they are going to fall slightly behind, not getting a kill either. The Thief going to still be alive here. Just kind of surprised we haven't seen the Thief leave this team fight yet um, and try and go for maybe a full cap at far. Do you, think, do you think it's better for him to stay in this fight and try to make it even, or do you think he should be going for that cap? As uh, he's about to die, actually, potentially. I mean, he should probably leave while Ooh. Thief uh, Ranger places him, because I don't see them winning a straight-up 5v5. Um, yeah. But, like, I don't know why Ranger is still hovering close. Like, they know where all of them five are. I mean, now it makes sense because they're dying, but, like, he's been close the entire game. Like, they were 5v4 the entire time, so I don't know why the Ranger just didn't equalize it or go far, one of the two. They, he just... Yeah. Kind of set close. Looking for the res is blue team. It shouldn't happen. The ranger does finally come in and start to get on it, but no, he's not going to be able to get that res. And so the first kill of the game will go to Dark USA, finally getting a kill on that necromancer after the thief got res by him. Still no one going over to the dock. It's not going to be the aggression from red team forcing the next fight, the next engagement over at the bazaar, which will still be on by blue team. We're slightly ahead. That kill the f extra five points here for Dark USA going to catch them up a little bit but you know again really surprised we don't see anyone going over to the dock obviously the red team is still just looking for the 5v5 but we do see the thief here the blue team thief going for the decap over at mid which of course is going to get some value I don't know if we're going to see beyond getting there in time to stop it no he's not going to uh do you think it's better for him to chase or do you think it's better for him to just go for the full cap on mid now oh well actually it looks like, looks like I mean I don't know say. like whoever has the bigger ego right like I don't know Absolutely. Uh, over at the Bazaar, we're going to see the Firebrand taken out here now with the Necro coming back in off of Respawn. And CC coming out now onto Rar as well. He's going to get pulled back in. Does have his Glimio available, so he'll be able to stay alive for a little bit longer. No decap onto the Bazaar as of yet, though. And Blue Team will get that kill. Potentially another one as well. Steel now has to be careful that he doesn't get taken out himself. If they can find the kill on the Revenant as well, it will allow them to fight back into middle a lot easier. And potentially go to the Far Note as well. And Rar probably is going to get taken out here, I think. Uh, he look, He should drop. Yeah, like Right now, they should get Bell as well. Because they're going to come this map. Like, like the timing of getting kills is actually very important that it, like, matches up with Bell. Because, like, right now, they have one kill, one coming of resource, so technically two kills. So they can just get Bell now. So that's a pretty big value. Absolutely. If they do go for it... Yeah, they're okay, like the, the Necro is going to go for it. Yeah, Hannibal. Hannibal yeah. will pick that up there. And at the moment, Darky was saying going to fall a little bit behind. And, do you, I mean, obviously, you know, we saw them get that first kill. We saw them win the first fight. Do you think it was just that they played badly at far? Ooh, and now we actually see Nas overextending potentially a little bit. We'll hold that for a second as he's going to go down. Mango very, very low here, the blue team thief. But nonetheless, I think we should see him survive. We do, and the kill is going to be clean here. Picked up for the Necro. Just going to continue to stagger red team. The Firebrand will probably go down again a second time. He's zero cooldowns. He will die a node, at least, so they will be forced to cleave him out as opposed to before. But, ooh, actually, we might see a bit of a pickup here coming back into it. But now the Glen Hill going to keep the Revenant alive now. And unfortunately for Beyond, he's not going to get any value out of that. He will be trying to get over to a decap, but again, the thief will there be there to stop him so blue team definitely looking a little bit better here uh, and what i wanted to say before you know do you think that they made a mistake a red team that is pushing into far you think they should have maybe gone back capped up the dock held the two nodes or do you think that they just played badly at far and it was the right call i don't know i think i think blue is just playing better i mean it's it's kind of hard to say who's winning team fights because like like blue is probably playing team fights better right assuming that they because they won the 4v4 because their first team fight wasn't a 4v4 
Um, so I think they might actually just be playing better, honestly. And not like any mistake, just them playing the 4v4 better, it seems, I don't know. Um, Absolutely. Okay, because like, again, like, the Ranger didn't really help right in the first team fight, so... I mean, they're snowing pretty well, they're gonna go for 3v3 three three in mid, so... Like, I don't know what Steve is doing, like, uh, he has like, he's kind of like, he's plus one but then he's not, and he's going mid, so he needs to like, make up his mind and just like, commit to one decision, I think. Because blue is actually cutting pretty well, like, the first team fight as well, mm -hmm. they, even though it was 5v4, they actually sustained it pretty long. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we are going to see the Thief here for Blue Team getting, I believe it was a decap over a dock. He's going to come back into mid now to match the Red Team Thief. Uh, but a lot of damage onto the Red Team players now. Rar as well as the Thief here getting ooh, very, very low. We might see the... Ooh, we almost saw the Torment getting him down. He will be able to get the Shadow Returned there, so he's going to be able to survive for now. Currently, Rar is going to be just chasing the Blue Team back. Still, the only node on the map is going to be held by Red Team. Again, no one going for the dock as of yet. I don't think we've seen it really capped up. But we will potentially see the Blue Team Thief getting the decap over here at mid. We do. But that could end up costing a blue team a player here. That's forced engagement going to be very low. He will have his Glen Heal available, and it's going to be used up. Now, oh, the damage is actually going to be turned back on Rar, who's also going to have the Glen Heal available. Nice. Fair Ring is coming down from the Necros to peel for their their, uh, ne their Revenants. Shield 5 going to be keeping the blue team Revenant alive. <laughs> Again, Shield 5 going to be keeping the red team Revenant alive. It's almost like, oh, well, there's a mirror match, as you said. Neither team are going to be able to get the advantage over the other as of yet, but Rar might Seems finally go cool. down. And it looks like he is going to go down, but almost at the same time as we actually see the Revenant now on blue team going down. And it's going to be a bit of a rally war. The Thief very, very low on red team, and he's going to go down. Ring 36, now the Necro here for blue team is going to be low, but he's going to have his heal available. CC coming out, though, and now we're going to see Murr going down state as well as the Necro. It's three pills going to be into down state here for red team. The Thief overextending a little bit on top of it will go down, but he's going to rally no problem. And a very nice fight coming out from red. A messy fight indeed, but the cleanup! From red is going to be good, and that's going to be putting them in a position to get back into the map and find the kills that they needed here. It's going to be a one versus one from the Rangers over at Bell, and it really did. Uh, I mean, red should get Bell here. They should get double one with Bell. Oh, see, team fights have all been like very close, actually. Yeah, a lot of back and forth here. Yeah. We'll see the aggression from blue team pulling some players over towards the dock here. Bizarre also actually potentially going to be picked up by blue team if red team can't get over. And, you know, it's actually interesting to see. We saw them get three kills there, but they haven't really gotten the nodes back. Now, we do see, you know, finally they're kind of, kind of grouped up here, pushing into the dock. But that potentially also opens up the middle node here for a decap. And Steel actually getting taken out here by the respawns over at, uh, over at Bizarre. I mean, obviously knowing that there were several respawns coming out, do you think it made sense for him to push into a node that he couldn't decap alone? Uh oh, this can you dead? No, I just said no. Oh, your mic, your mic didn't come. It didn't come through your mic. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, no question, right? Yeah, I said no. Yeah, well, I, didn't well, know. I mean, uh, like no, him sorry. going, like him going far is fine, but then he obviously has to make sure that he doesn't die, right? Because like dying on enemy home node is like so bad because you lose like the entire map. But like again, Thief got decap though, so again, that's a like, kind of another fight. Because now like they can just look for four v four on home. So Urantian going to be probably taken out here from respawns here for Red Team Steel coming in now. He is actually going to maybe be able to kite out, though, obviously being on the Ranger. He will have access to Great Sword 4, the greatest skill currently in the game for PvP. And Red Team not going to be able to find the kill. However, they do get the side nodes. The Thief here, uh, Beyond, going to be able to pick up that full cap there before the Blue Team Thief was going to be able to stop him. So it is going to be side nodes for Red Team. And finally, we are going to see them catch back up to Blue. Mid currently going to be being picked up here now by Hannibal. But Urantian finally getting chased down and taken out here now by Red Team, who are currently zerging towards mid. That might actually even be able to stop the cap. Uh, we actually see the decap coming out here from the Thief. And it probably makes more sense for the Red Team Thief to leave this now, right? Unless he thinks he can win the 1v1. Oh, actually... Maybe, uh, maybe who's it? Sorry? Thief against Thief? Yeah. There's so many Thief only once in NA, like you never really see it on you. Yeah. I mean, there's never been a kill, but they just keep like, going at each other, you know? Yeah. And Shadow Portal actually gonna be able to bring the blue team Thief all the way over and get the decap here. And again, we're gonna see this 1v1 coming out here, potentially, if uh, we do see the red team Thief decide to stick around and stop the full cap. Over at mid, it's going to be Anya. Attempting to get the get away from the red team pressure here. He's going to be going on to the firebrand though, and the firebrand of course going to be a pretty good target here for blue, red team to go on. Excuse me, blue team to go on. But that will of course be the same for red. However, at the moment, health bars in favor of blue. Nice CC there is going to keep uh, five one five a little alive for a little bit longer, and they still are going to be able to hold on to the node, the one node, and that's going to keep put them just ahead. Second or actually third bell now coming up here for the game. Nos a little bit low on the node. Lich coming out now from Hannibal, and he might be going down. We actually might see the Necro, the first to fall from Red Team. We do, 
We are going to see a couple of low players here from blue team as well, though, and that is going to be enough to give red team the res if the follow-up damage is going to be good enough. It is going to be good enough to get the Revenant back down, and it could be another turnaround fight, but the blood res going to be coming out now from Hannibal. He's going to be back up. The thief overextending a little bit. The CC comes out, and the firebrand will fall too. Two kills now picked up here for blue team on mid, and it's a reverse of what we saw before as the bell is still going to be contested here now by the thieves, and blue team take a fight back. Hype. Hype indeed. Thank you very much for helping us out there with that Fiskin. We're going to see Murr now heading over towards the Bazaar. However, he might be stopped by Nas. Uh, and he actually yeah, realizes that he's not going to be going over to uh, to cap that. However, Nas actually not going to go with full cap either. He's going to make his way over to the Bell, realizing the Bell actually is kind of in uh, probably not maybe not the win condition here at this point, I'd say, because it's only going to be 50 points for them. But obviously giving up a free Bell like that, very risky. And they do. They give it away to Blue Team. Well, just make the next Bell like insanely important, pretty much. Yeah. And do you think that they had to give that up so easily, or do you think that was a mistake? I mean, I think they would have just died if they just ran into it, which they do now, even though, like, do they realize it's kept? Because I don't know they're going in now, but... I mean, maybe they kill Revenant, actually, or no. Yeah, maybe they kill Revenant. That would be pretty big, but um, I don't think they will. No, they, they won't. So, I don't know. It's kind of weird how they, like, decide to go in after they kept it. Absolutely, um, yeah. They, could, they maybe get the gap on mid, though. Forced engagement going to be a little bit low here in this fight. And, uh, however, it's not going to be him going down first. It is going to be the Thief. Unfortunately, and uh, important to note yeah. how like Necro is stuck in one run against Ranger, which is pretty big for your blue team. Like Red Necro is stuck in one run. Oh, so the Shadow nice. Portal bringing uh, Anya out of any trouble here. He's going to be able to get back and out of combat here. He's going to get the full cap over at Doc. Really nice Shadow Portal there from the blue team thief. And now the fight being brought over towards Bizarre. Red team still have the double cap though. They are going to be able to maintain that. Nas though probably going to be taken out. He is going to be taken out here. And Red team are just going to leave this instead of sticking around and losing more players like last time. And we saw them. Um, and, I mean, obviously winning that teamfight on mid was pretty big, and then being able to immediately win the bell afterwards, but do you think there's any other serious issues that red team are, are kind of making here? Is there serious mistakes, excuse me, that red team are making here that's allowing blue team to get the lead here? I mean, yeah, like, like last teamfight, right? They didn't have Necro there, because they were stuck in one against Ranger, which is, you know, you obviously want the Necro in the teamfights. Mm -hmm. um, like, right now, blue is, like, pushing far. They should have just pushed mid. I don't know why they would push into the response, because... Uh... Yeah, I don't they should just push mid. Because Bell is coming up in 20 seconds, and like, again, like if, if Blue gets by, they get 75 points, right? So, Absolutely. Bell will be very important. That's it, coming out here from the red team, excuse me, blue team Revenant, but he is going to be able to picked up by the Blood Res. CC coming back out to help peel for him. We are going to see the red team Thief going for a decap here. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it, though. We should see the blue team Thief able to get there in time. No, he's actually going to leave it. And instead, he's going to go back towards mid. They do realize that Bell coming up and getting a kill here onto the Revenant on red team might be a little bit more valuable. I think we're going to see the res coming out here. We do see the res. Lich coming back up here for Hannibal, though. The blue team Necromancer who's going to be currently aggressed on by Roar, and it's now really going to come down to, I think, this Bell. If Red Team can get it, it'll put them slightly ahead of Blue Team, but if Blue Team get the Bell, that is almost certainly going to be the game for them. Low players on both sides. It's going to be Roar a little bit low, but he's going to be able to be staying alive here. Anya, downstate here on the Revenant. Unfortunately, that might just be it for Blue Team. I don't know if they can continue to contest this. They do pick up a, a cap over here, but the Thief coming back in off of Respawn is going to be able to get that decap, and Red Team currently are going to have control of the Bell. Nice Fear Ring coming out from Nas. Is that going to be enough to get the cap? No! The Thief's going to be on top of it, but he goes right off, and unfortunately, 50 points on the board for Red Team are going to give them the lead here over Blue. It's not enough to get them the game confirmed here, but... At the moment, it does look like they are in a position to win it. Rar is still pretty low in this fight, though. He needs to be careful as we're going to see the respawn coming out here now from the blue team Revenant. And he might have just overextended. Doesn't have his heal available, and he's going to go down without it. Can they get the res on top of it? Nas is there to press F, and the blood res is going to be good, but a lot of CC on top of it. they got to be careful they don't overextend again. Thief coming back in, though, and he's going to be able to make this a 5 versus 4 as we see Urantian coming in from far. Instead of making this a even 5v5, though, he's going to go for mid. You think that's the right call? Uh... I think so. I think you can sustain long enough for it to be worth it, but... Sustain I mean, long enough? They don't need to sustain long enough as they've gotten a kill five before. There's a lot of low players on the side of blue, though, and the res is going to be back up here for red team. However, the points have now changed into favor of blue. They will get it's the kill, though, on, now, Moore, though. on Murr. Yeah, and we do see the Shadow Pearl coming back out here onto the Bazaar to make a complete full cap here for the Thief here on red team. So it's going to be side nodes as well as the kill coming the way of red team. Urantian going to make his way yeah, over to do Doc. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get to it. Is this final bell going to come up? We might actually see the final bell. Whoever wins wins it actually, I think, pretty much just automatically wins the game, right? There, There is no bell. Isn't there a bell at one? Oh, mm -hmm. no? I think so. Oh. 
I, I thought there was a belt one. Fair enough. But we are going to see the Thief go down state. However, I think the team should be here in time. He was holding the node long enough. Do you think dying for this node is worth it for the Thief here at the end of the game like this? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Because they just feed into this. And timer like, is relevant as well. Blue Thief does get decap though, but it doesn't really matter if Ranger goes in. No, Ranger goes mid, actually. No, the Ranger's no, he's going in. Yeah. He's, 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 like, he's, he's hesitating. I don't know. Weird. He's going to make his way. They do hold on to the node, and now they're going to leave Nos potentially over there to 1v1 the uh, blue team, Necro. 30 seconds, though. Will be advantage, yeah. You know, it will be advantage on the map in terms of the players here. But, the, oh, the decap comes through here. And I think that was probably a shadow portal uh, coming out from yes. the red team thief. They just win, though. And that is going to be game. Yeah, 10 seconds left. Timer is going to be enough to win it. And Dark USA will be going to the finals, but a very, very close game nonetheless. One rage quit, one flaming map, two flaming map. All right, but here we go. Finals. It's uh, Team USA and USA. Ah, Zeromus with a shout out to his Guild Wars 2 players in chat. Very, very cool. So, Mirror Comp again, except for Hollow instead of Ranger. Hmm. I wonder who most handsome boy is. That's, that's an interesting account there. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, how do you feel with these cops? Not a mirror comp. Well, this game. Oh, I mean, essentially, it is the same comp, right? It's gonna like try to do in this. It's gonna like look and try to do the same thing. But that is true. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Um, I think Ranger might be a bit better. I don't know. I I really don't know. Honestly, like both are very similar in what they do and how they do it. They both have CC to knock off note. Ranger does have more, but I don't know. Mm. They're very similar. All right, but here we go. The beginning of the game, and it looks like a bit of a cross here from Blue Team, potentially. No, actually, just going to be the Thieves matching each other. They might just be going to place Shadow Portals down. Not sure if we're going to actually see them. Yeah, we do see Toker, I think, placing his portal. He's going to back to mid, making sure he's going to be a -OK. OK. At the moment, it is going to be Zeromus getting aggressed on. Actually, we do see Beyond staying here. He's actually going to keep Zeromus there as well. I'm not really sure why he decided to stay around, and obviously Toker deciding to, to leave that, but it is going to be at the moment. Team fight coming out here around mid now, and it potentially could even be a 5 versus 5 here. We're going to see which Necro is going to go down first. Nas in a little bit of a better position, but a nice CC coming out from Naro. However, they're going to go back onto the Firebrand here from Red Team, who's going to be very low. Still is RF available, but no, I think that's going to be his RF about to be used. He's trying to get up on top. He does not make it, unfortunately, and it looks like Red Team are just going to give it up and leave. Now, where are the Firebrand's still going to be alive? Ooh, they actually had the kill here, following Zeromus here. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to find the res or the stop. CC coming out, though, on a red team, and follow-up damage is going to be pretty good, but not quite good enough to find the Firebrand. There he is, and we do see the res coming out, and Zeromus, blood res coming out, though, from red team. It's not going to be as well as looks like blue team's res was, and fortunately for Rar, he's going to be going back down. Zeromus, excuse me, Nos going to be very, very low on this as well, and it looks like three kills going to be picked up for blue team, so they do lose the first down state. But unfortunately for red, blue team are going to be able to recover and get three kills picked up here. And uh, what? Any thoughts about that team fight? No. no. I think I think blue's focusing was just better. Yeah. Uh, I think I do agree with actually like going for the firebrand. I think firebrand is honestly a better target than core necro. Mm -hmm. So I do agree with uh, team USA for going for the firebrand, whereas like the other team went for necro. Ooh, I mean they killed the necro yeah. eventually, but. Yeah, they yeah, did, they did get the downstate, but... I mean, they actually got the downstate first. I think the problem was just that they, they overextended on the downstate yeah. a little bit there. Uh, they and, might just yeah. triple cap off this, honestly. Like, double kill. I mean, like, there's no reason for them to push far, I guess, because it's already decapped, so they might just play double nerf for the rest of the game and then try to get buffs in one minute. Yeah. We are going to see um, Steel currently going to be held against his will in the spawn of blue team. Uh, he is going to just apply a little bit of pressure to Mark, but... Mark uh, is going to be just moving over to mid. You he's actually playing Kanye Rev as well. I'm kind of surprised. I would have expected Mark to maybe go with the Power Rev, but apparently NA likes their Kanye Rev. And uh, we do see a little bit of aggression over towards far, but it is looking like it's probably going to get picked up by Rar here. And that is going to be the one node backup for Red Team. So right now, Red Team need to be a little bit more careful pushing into the map. They've got all five of their players back. They have a res uh, they don't have respawns. So they should be able to potentially look for another team fight here, but it actually looks like Blue Team are going to be dictating that movement themselves. Decap does come out on mid here. As a blue team aggress on towards far, but Toker will get the decap to answer that, so it is going to be a one for one decap there. Again, we're going to see the firebrand pressured here in this fight. CC going out onto him. Nas going to be a little bit pressured as well, but he should be fine with Shroud. And damage actually going to be turned back on to now Naru and Mark. We're going to have to be a little bit careful. Naru going to be forced into the RF. He is going to have cooldowns to the same stuff as well as team. Of course, just appeal for him there, but I think Blue Team have started to realize that, as you said, the Firebrand might be a better target in these fights, and they are pressuring out Naru very, very hard. Mark actually They're getting, getting double buffed, though. 
which is a uh, very huge. Yeah, we do see the because now they go for five v five, and Blue should just win this now with double buff. I think. Thief going for the the double buff while that team fight was happening, indeed. And uh, and and obviously, as you, as you pointed out, you think that's a little bit more value there. Of course, if they can get a kill on one of the blue team players, but it looks like right now red team just struggling to find the follow up. Rar gonna pour it in very aggressively. Mark gonna be able to survive for now. His Glinghill is gonna be used. Rar gonna be going into downstate. Unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna see a res. The buff actually will go for the stomp as well. The cleave's gonna be enough there, good, and it's gonna be Nas. Gonna be going into downstate on top of that res as well. Do you see Beyond here stealthing up to the side? Very low, but he's not going to really be able to do anything. The Firebrand going to get picked up as well. And again, another team fight going the way of Blue Team very, very cleanly. And honestly, I mean, uh, very, very, I think, telling here that Blue Team was able to just kite off of this node all the way to Blue Team, four versus five, and not lose a single player. And then as soon as the Thief came back in with the double buffs, they were able to hold on and, and turn the team fight their way. Um, and I mean, really, I think it is just going to be a team difference here. Team USA. That was very smart, actually, yo. Of blue to push far because they're just like keeping the, they're pretty much just distracting them right while they get just double buff so that's pretty smart because now like for like how long does buff last like two minutes i think i'm not, I'm not actually sure like during, during the entire duration they just win every fight they pick pretty much because it's a, like again it's a mirror comp right so when you have like 20 percent extra stats you know it's pretty much an extra player so yeah you just win every fight you pick uh, you pick so absolutely and yeah, yeah I, I, do you think that i mean like obviously no it's okay red team Obviously, I mean, lost the pretty much two team fights there that have happened so far. Do you think that they should look to try and out rotate blue team, or do you think that because it's a mirror comp, that's really just not going to be an option, and they just need to play the team fight smarter? Yeah, the, yeah, you can't really out rotate. The, the comp is too slow because again, like no mesmer, you have necro, you have firebend, so it's a very slow comp. They can literally just chase you, right? There's there's no real way of like getting away from them. You know, like so, uh, they have to play team fight. I don't think there's any other way. Um, they they it, it did seem like they kind of copied them and started like focusing the blue firebrand, whereas they started with focusing the necro in the start of the game. So they are changing quite a bit. Oh, and they actually but, um, do get the firebrand now down. Glenhill going to be used yeah. here for Mark trying to get the res. I think the damage should be good from red team, and we might actually see the first kill of the game going the way. However, a lot of very low players onto red team. I don't think blue team will look for it though, as they're press they're going to be very pressured as well. Toker selling off to the side, very very low, and Mark. Barely able to escape out of that, but they will survive on only losing one player. They still have control of their home node as well, so red team should get control of mid. If they can get another kill, that would be very good for them. We actually see the Thief heading over towards far. Naru will be coming back in off of respawn. He's going to head towards mid instead of stopping the decap, and uh, we will see the cap finally coming through for red team. But honestly, they haven't really gotten, I think, enough value to snowball the map, of course, uh, off of that one kill. And the cap actually comes through for blue team. They were actually able to just stand on the node long enough, and Red Team a little bit too scared, a little bit too low to go onto it and contest it, and they still have pretty low players. The Firebrand, very pressured out, no RF available. He might be going down, some peels coming out for his team. We do see the Thief coming back in to try to help peel for him, but we're going to see a decap here now coming out from, I believe that was probably Toker. We will see the Shadow Portal keeping the Firebrand alive. Nicely placed there by the Red Team Thief, but it isn't going to be enough to swing the fight anyway, and Red Team are going to be forced to just disengage this if they can. However, they're going to have to be very careful. Buff will actually be important. Nas actually on the node. He does a full shroud, and he does realize that, well, potentially Blue Team could be offering buffs, but he is not going to be able to peel at the moment for his Revenant, who's kind of caught off to the side here. We'll probably be going down, so a kill now going to be picked up here for Blue Team. And honestly, that kill doesn't really seem to have phased Blue at all. They, you know, they just came back onto the map. They didn't lose anybody else. They were able to hold on to the map pretty well. They have started to lose it slightly now. We will see a one versus one for the buffs the first time that the buffs have actually been contested. And Toker might actually be dying here, to be honest. He's going to be very low, and he does actually die to falling damage. The steal in midair was enough to take him out, I think. And we're going to see a kill picked up here now uh, from Red Team Thief. They will be able we to get the bottom get the buff for the buff first time. Still. Yeah, so it will be a buff apiece, but it's still going to be a little bit better here for Red Team. Going to be about 150 points behind. Nas a little bit low here coming in, but we will have some pressure on to the Revenant still from Blue Team. Respawns, though, coming in, and Toker's already back in the game. And honestly, the, the dying from falling damage actually was probably a little bit better for him. And he actually, he's going to go for the decap here. No one sees it. He might actually just get the decap, and no one's going to notice it. And he does! He gets the decap against three Red Team players. No one was able to stop him from doing it. And again, just slowing down Red Team's point gain even more. It forces one of the players to stay here as well, while the Thief can just move off. And Nas is going to be aggressed on now, forced into Shroud here by Toker, just getting so much value coming in off of Respawn. Blue Team holding on to the double cap as well. We will see the decap potentially coming out here by the Thief over at Far. But Blue Team is still going to maintain that one node hold. And uh, continue to take ahead of Red. I think Red is just not snowballing fast enough of kills. Like they got like a, for example, they got the Firebrand kill on far. But because Stoker got the decap, they left the range to full cap, right? So then they pretty much had a 4v4, right? Because blue had a death, but then range is capping, so it's a 4v4. Whereas when blue gets a kill, they instantly like go out number the rest of the map. And I think the difference is, is pretty noticeable so far. Like when both teams get one kill. Absolutely. Like 
They'll probably like wipe them here and then they should get like another double cap again. Yeah, Nas will fall, and it doesn't look like anyone in a position to get the res here, so red team now are going to be forced to either leave or die. Mark and Toker both a little bit low, but I don't think they can fight 2v4 into this, so Steel and Ra are both going to be forced to just try and kite and stay alive for as long as they can. Steel going to come in to try and peel for his teammate, but still four blue team players here, and I think Ra might be dying here. Uh, it's cutting around, however, we are going to leave that and head over towards mid, where we do see the Firebrand pick up a kill, or excuse me, a cap here, and we are going to see Helio going for the 1v1 over on that. It's going to be a free cap here for Beyond. Getting that, that uh, cap up there, and Roar actually being able to survive for a decent amount of time, but he will eventually die off of Node, and I, do you think that they should have just left if they could have gotten out, or do you think that stalling over here for as long as they did was worth it? Um, I mean, depends on what happens next, right? Like, they're gonna kill this, I assume they're gonna kill Ranger, and then it pretty much depends what happens. Like, Blue can just push mid here, and they'll probably get mid, so... If Red does somehow manage to hold on mid, then yes, it's worth, but I don't see them being able to do it, and especially since buffs are up now, Blue can just look to get buffs yeah. again, and then... It's definitely not worth, I think, uh, especially since they're like so far behind. Like, so blue has like a lot more freedom and points, right? They they can like, give a bit more caps for uh, kills or buffs. So uh, yeah, I don't think it's worth really. And, like blue uh, gets buff here as well. Yeah, so, they were yeah. able to get the buff. We will see beyond able to survive long enough and, and not not be taken out like we saw Toker last time. But yeah, buff, bottom buff going the way of blue team, and it looks like top buff as well is going to be picked up by Helio. We will see Toker stopped, or excuse me, prevented here from getting decap. Oh wait, no, he does get the decap, the dagger storm, keeping him alive, or keeping him able to stay in evade frames long enough to keep beyond in stealth, and he gets the decap for free even with the thief on the node. You hate to see it if you're red team. And you hate to see this as well. We're going to see the firebrand and downseed over at mid. Red team not going to be able to survive and keep him back up. Blue team going to be able to get another kill here, snowballing Nos after the firebrand goes down, and mid will be decapped. And the points are about double here now for blue over red. Toker actually getting the full cap as well against beyond over at Dragon. I, I mean... It's like a massive advantage, yeah. but still, he's kind of shitting on him. Absolutely. And, I mean, again, you know, you did mention this a little bit. It looked like Red Trimmer trying to adapt in some of these team fights, focusing down the Firebrand. But, and also, you know, we did see them going for the buffs now instead of just giving, excuse me, uh, giving the free buff cap there for blue team every time. But, I mean, is there anything else that you think Red Team really should be doing, or is it really just that that Blue Team is just playing this a little bit smarter? And, I mean, as you mentioned, obviously getting more Snowball, uh, getting more value out of that one kill that they had. Uh, but, I mean, the ma main thing, again, just to me, is that they haven't really been able to win fights, so we're going to see them lose another one here. Um, and and why, why do you think that is? Right now, it's, like, this is a 4v3, right? Uh, In general. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think Blue, I mean, I think pretty much every fight, except for the first one, was with blue having buffs though so which is again that comes down to like the snowball factor right they're just playing the map better like they just kill this i mean sure they lose the entire map like the entire map gets up but who cares right they're gonna get back get it back anyways so i think red is like too focused on like looking for decaps like i mean sure like the thief like i don't know who like beyond you said right yeah. um has gotten like a tons of decaps but decaps isn't gonna win you the game right it's it's kills and it's it's points um and like blue is not even gonna contest it's like they're now like outnumbering this like with necro which again like necro plus one is like very mm -hmm. slow so don't even kill this and blue and just gets the entire map Helio again actually after realizing the the cap is not his you're gonna immediately leave and how do you feel about that a side note or leaving a 1v1 on an enemy node do you know uh, that's i would hard disagree oh okay but do you i guess that's what i was asking and toker actually gonna go in for the decap oh and that might have just been a bit I mean, there yeah toker just gonna this get is here. that's exactly what i meant with the flunder game right like because like flunder steve could never do this because flunder was just there but like he just leaves and now teaches decaps. Easy clap, right? And we are going to see another two kills picked up, and this might just be game here. We will see Beyond putting a little bit of aggression onto Nar here, but obviously there's nothing that he can do. One versus three against Blue Team, and he's just going to be chased down. And buffs coming up now will be contested here. We're going to see the Ranger on top of the top buff here against Helio, but this still this one of the ones shouldn't really go anywhere unless one of them can knock the other one off the top here. Uh, over at top buff, not going to be contested at all. Nar going to be going for the full cap here after the cleave on to Beyond is going to be done, and I think... I think it might be time to call it a little bit of a better game here for USA that, against Dark USA than we saw last month. Obviously, again, we have seen a roster swap for Dark USA with Beyond and Roar coming in over Fanta and uh, Reckless from last month. Um, but nonetheless, I think also the maps being different, uh, and I think Blue Team just playing cleaner, honestly. I think Team USA just playing this a lot better. Um, I, think, I think we really got to see Toker shine here a lot more than we saw in previous games. You know, um, I think, you know, normally you see Toker... Doing a lot more on the win. He didn't get to do as much, I think, the last time we saw these teams fight, but 
Did they win a single fight though? I mean, they, they won the one, one on fight, fire. Technically. Yeah, I think that's it, right? They won one fight. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't say they did really well. But, uh, I mean, yeah, Team USA just doing way better. All right. And that is the NA Monthly AT, guys. The second qualifier for... They didn't have Toker. Oh, that's right. They didn't have Toker, Grimjack. You're absolutely right. They had cat.